I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a problem on logical choice for the DAP. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano. I'm professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Orgo Man products and the author of the DAP Destroyer book. We're going to do a problem on logical choice questions. These represent a new type of question that have been appearing on the DAT and the DAT loves this question. In the last series, Professor Bloy stumped us all on the very final question. And boy, did he stump us, and it was a magnificent problem. He's back again today doing a whole new set of these questions. Come along, and I'll show you what we got. For these questions, what we're going to do is we're going to evaluate the given question. You're going to think of a question as a statement. And then we're going to choose one of the following. Statement one alone is sufficient, but not statement two. B, statement two alone is sufficient, but not statement one. Both statements one and two together are necessary and sufficient. Or D, each statement alone is sufficient. And finally, if statement one and two together are not sufficient enough to answer the problem. All right, I'll leave this to Professor Blois. Hi, Professor Blois here, and here we have three questions. I would encourage you to try to get familiar with that preamble that uh, Dr. Romano just read, so it's not doesn't come as a surprise on the test itself. They're very easy to understand. These problems are actually very easy, much easier than what may seem on first blush. Okay, let's do this problem. What is the slope of line K? All right, statement one. Line K crosses both X and Y axes in quadrant four. All right, what does that tell us? Well, we want to know the slope of line K. Well, what are the quadrants? Here's quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. They go in counterclockwise direction. If the line crosses both X and Y axes in quadrant four, all we can glean from this is that the, the line has positive slope. It goes uphill as we read the math from left to right. Not sufficient to really answer the question. Let's look at statement two. Line K is perpendicular to the line 7Y equals 5 minus 3X. Is that sufficient to answer the question? Well, I think it is, because if we put this problem, if we put that expression in Y equals MX plus B form, let's put the negative 3X first, let's divide both sides by 7, negative 3X plus 5, 7, we know from y equals mx plus b form, that when we solve for y, the number times x is the slope of that given line. So the slope of this line is negative 3 sevenths. Okay, we also should know that the slope of a perpendicular line is the negative recipro reciprocal of that slope. So the, the perpendicular slope would have two degrees of difference, negative and reciprocal. So, if line K is perpendicular to this line, that means line K has a slope that's perpendicular to negative 3 sevenths. Well, what would that be? We don't have to do any algebra. It's the opposite sign, which would be positive, and the reciprocal, which would be 7 thirds. So to answer the question, statement one is not sufficient to answer the question, but statement two alone is sufficient to answer the question, so the choice is B. Okay, let's go on to the second uh, problem here. What is the equation of line A? All right, statement one, line A intersects the x-axis at 3, 0. Statement two is line A intersects the y-axis at 0, negative 5. Well, what information do we need to establish the equation of a line? We, two points are sufficient. We have two distinct points. That's all we need. We, we'll use the... Uh, uh, slope formula. The slope formula for a line is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. And we can easily figure that out. And uh, shall we do that? Let's see. Minus 5 minus 0 and 0 minus 3. So the slope here is 5 thirds. Once we know the slope, we can use the point-slope formula for the finding the equation of a line. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, where we can take uh, uh, x1 and y1, 3, 0, and the slope, 5 thirds. But actually, 
the calculation is not necessary. It wasn't even necessary to perform this calculation for the slope. If we have two points, two distinct points, we know we can find the slope and therefore from that the equation of the line. So just on principle, we know that both statement one and statement two together are necessary to answer the question. So that means our answer is choice C. Okay, so we, we need not do any calculations here. We just answer the question on principle. All right, now let's go to this third equation. What is the equation of line B? Okay, statement one, line B intersects the line Y equals 3X minus 2 at X equals 2. And statement two is line B contains the point negative 4, 6. Now, if you look at this, neither, either one of these statements taken on its own is not sufficient to answer the question. But what happens if I take statement one, if I plug in x equals two into this equation here? I will get when x equals two, three times two is six, six minus two is four, I get the point two, four. Statement one is pretty much telling us that two, four lies on the line of B, lies on the line of, is on, on the line B. Uh, statement two tells us that negative four, six is also contained in line B. Just like in the previous problem, we have two points lying on a line. It's sufficient to allow us to calculate the slope and therefore the equation of the line. Once again, on principle, we can say that yes, uh, the choice that we need is choice C. Both statements one and statement two are sufficient and necessary to solve the problem. No further calculation is necessary. We have it all on, uh, the, on the principle of two points determining uniquely the equation of a line. Okay, I hope this gave you guys a really good idea of how to proceed on these type of questions. They are challenging, Hello. but yeah. we're looking very forward to see more of these types of questions in the future. Professor, mm -hmm. thank you very much. My pleasure, my pleasure. Okay, good luck to you guys, and I'll see you in study group. Bye-bye.